Hey sis, we're getting a little ranty today, so strap your children into the back seat and hit the gas. Let's get this started. Tonight I'm going to be taking you through the makeup that I wish some of my personal favorite brands would release because I'm a Pisces, so everything is about me all the time, always. Here, come right here. Within the past couple of months, I've become an increasingly more fanatic fan of ColourPop. I really enjoy their Super Shock shadows. I only have one of their pressed pigments, but I really like it. I've never bought one of their palettes, and I think I know why. Because there's a certain type of palette that I think I expected them to put out that they have not. And that is a rainbow palette. A brights palette. A rainbow bright palette if you will. I don't understand. The brand is called ColourPop. They make dozens of palettes a second, it seems. How have none of these palettes been a rainbow palette? It's almost like a monkeys in a room full of typewriters batting out Shakespeare type of situation. They have the materials. They can do it. Where is it? Just put it in an orientation similar to Roy G. Biv and sell it to me. I will buy it. But wouldn't it make sense? It'd be a really affordable, like, beginner rainbow palette for someone who's maybe a little bit intimidated by color, doesn't necessarily want a palette that's a couple of brights with a bunch of neutrals, like a BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival situation. I would be super excited if I saw that from ColourPop. My next one is from a controversial brand, to be sure, Glossier. There's two things I want from Glossier, and I don't think I'm going to get them anytime soon because Glossier releases, like, one product every six months. I would like there to be warmer shades of the Wowder powder, which is a loose powder if you're not familiar. A couple of months ago, I was in the market for a loose setting powder. I was fully prepared to walk into the Glossier store in New York and buy the Wowder. And they were super gray and very, very cool toned, which is fantastic if you've got cool undertones. I don't. If they like kind of expanded it and went on the warmer end and like kept those same shades and maybe had a couple intermediate ones, I think that would be amazing. And I don't think it would be that like difficult. The other thing that I would like from Glossier, okay. If you are new here, you won't know this, but something you will learn very quickly listening to me talk about makeup is that my ultimate makeup weakness, my cosmetic kryptonite, if you will, is lip gloss. And so whenever a brand puts out a lip gloss, my feelers go up, my spidey sense starts tingling. Glossier has a clear lip gloss that comes in like a translucent pink tube and it looks like just real sexy. <laughs> it's just like a normal clear gloss, but it's such like a thick glassy shine. I think it's so beautiful, but it's a clear gloss and I can't rationalize spending $14 on a perfectly clear gloss a slightly tinted but still mostly transparent gloss. That's a different story. <laughs> it's honestly a good thing that Glossier won't expand the range of their lip glosses to any color other than clear because they, I would have too many of them. It'd be bad for me. So I actually don't do that Glossier. Keep it at one. No complaints over here. Well, like if you <laughs> Moving on, another brand that I want lip gloss related things from. Robin! Rihanna Fenty! Will you please create other shades of the gloss bomb? Here's a deeper shade of that lip gloss for me and other people who didn't like how they looked in it. I feel like I'm the only one on earth, which I know is not the case because there's too many people on earth for that to be the case, but it feels like it is. I feel alone because everybody loves the gloss bomb except me. It's not my nude, or rather it's too nude for me. It's the same color as my natural lips. So when I wear it, it looks like I put some Vaseline on my lips and mwah, in some craft glitter. It's not cute. And I know she's not gonna do it because the whole purpose of the gloss bomb is that it's universal. So I'm, I'm up the creek without a battle. I want so little in this world and I still get slighted. I wanna swing things over to a brand that is like Glossier in that they have the reputation for all of their products basically being just colorful, sparkly Vaseline, milk makeup. One product from them is not like the rest of their products. Well, most of their products seem to be like fun club kid, like ephemeral. If you sweat this off in the club, it's fine because you're probably making out with someone and it's four o'clock in the morning. And after you do that, you're gonna go get a falafel because it's young and it's New York and you're cute and you're probably like a junior at NYU and you do something creative. You're a photographer's assistant, milk makeup. You know, it's like that. But they have one product that is so long lasting so resilient that it's so confusing and so out of place. And that is their eyeliner tattoo stamps. They come in a couple of shapes, a heart, a peace sign, a smiley face, 
a yin yang, that's problematic. And one special thing about these is that if you put it on, it is part of your body now. They take like three days to wash up. It fused with me. I had a little like, eyeliner Osmosis Jones just hanging out on my hand. It was wild. I feel like it'd be super sick for Milk to harness this apparently like absurdly strong eyeliner technology they've gotten their hands on and just make a standard eyeliner, like a standard brush or felt tip eyeliner pen because it's super waterproof, but not in the way that a lot of waterproof eyeliners are where they're super like thick and gloppy and intense and hard to actually make a line with. Also, these stamps are $12. That's like really reasonably priced for a really good liquid eyeliner. Anastasia Beverly Hills. Morphine. We have things to talk about. I've wanted one thing and one thing only from Anastasia Beverly Hills for years now. And that is single pan Highlighters. I got into Anastasia around the time the original Illuminators, like So Hollywood and those kids were really popping off, but not in enough time to get them before they were gone. And so when the glow kits came out and the original ones had those sort of packaging half circles next to the pen that you could pop them out and replace them with something else, presumably like the contour kits did, I was like, oh, sick. So I can just buy a refill of these pens and I don't have to buy the entire glow kit. No. Nope. Because Norvina was like, oh no, you can pop it out and pop it back in for fun and variety, but you can't buy it by itself. What do you think this is? And so I've seen glow kit after glow kit go by with all these highlighters that I've been like, oh, that'd be cute, but I don't want those three other ones. It's either all of them or none of them. Why should I get what I want, right? I'm just a person. You can buy single shadows. You can buy refills of the contour colors. Why can't you buy single pans of the highlighters? I have magnetic palettes. I'll give you money, Anastasia. Like, just let me have them, please. This is a bonus one. Hey, Urban Decay. Hey, sh sh Sugar Snaps. Please, from the bottom of my wicked little soul, bring back the lickable body powders. I'm begging you. I never bought one because when they were around, I was 13 and I wasn't buying anything at Sephora. Body glitter is making a comeback. Rihanna's out here. I know there's other 2000s kids like me who used to wander into Sephora and put on neon turquoise eyeliner and like cover their cheeks with the tart lip and cheek stains and like pause their teal iPod nanos long enough to maybe ask the salesperson about a steal a lip gloss. I know there's other people like me who've been praying for these to come back and it's been like 10 years now and I know it's not happening but like Screw everything else on. You hear that? That is God backing me up. Screw everything else on this list. All I want is Urban Decay to bring back the body powders. That's it. So that was my uh, emotional list of makeup items that I would like some brands to release. Before you leave, I'm gonna need you to do a quick favor for me. If you could go ahead and have an amazing day for me, that's all I want. <laughs> please consider scram scrobbing to my channel. Thank you for watching again. Goodbye. I feel like wearing milk makeup products is appropriating liberal arts college freshman culture. <laughs> yeah, I'm a super sheltered kid and I'm from Austining, but now I'm at Sarah Lawrence and I'm in a burlesque class and my boyfriend has blue hair. So I'm gonna put glitter on my entire face. <laughs> I know so many people like that.